Casey Patey of TheInspiredOffice.com. I'm a professional organizer specializing in offices and paper coming to you from my home office today, which you've noticed is a dining table. Now, I've worked in very, very big homes and office, offices. I've worked with people who have decades of paper, truckloads of paper, um, but in this case, I have a simple home office and I just needed a really simple solution that I just reached for and created ad hoc that has become sort of a permanent thing that I really want to share with you. So sometimes the simplest solutions are all you need. And even if you are somebody with years and years of paper, I'm hoping that my office in a box can help you as well. So obviously this half of the dining table is my home office and we started a bathroom renovation about two months ago and it's a relatively small condo so I didn't have a lot of places to run and work. I still sort of had to work here, maybe not full time. I did some work in the bedroom and on the couch but for the most part this is still like my landing zone. This is my inspired office headquarters and I still had to manage paper right here. So as we were renovating, things were just so incredibly chaotic. The space was filthy. It was covered in dust. And every day I was just like scrambling for paper and that's not something I'm used to. And it was really hard to clean up. Everything was dusty at the end of the day. So then I realized upstairs, I had something set aside that I picked up from a client's office. She was moving, she had dozens of these portfolio boxes, and I grabbed one of them to keep, not thinking or knowing if I would ever use it. And in a panic one day, I was just fed up with all of the dust and all of the paper and not having any landing zone and anywhere to sit and work. I grabbed the empty portfolio box and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna shove all of the stuff that lands around my computer in this box and it's going to be my safe zone so we call it my safe zone also and and i'm going to show you what landed in my my safe zone my office in a box so that again was a couple months ago and i'm still using it so i think this office in a box is here to stay this folder houses everything having to do with the bathroom renovation which isn't completely done but it was great to just be able to reach in here and grab anything the contractors needed or I needed throughout the process. Again, nothing in here got dusty. There are some loose pieces of paper, such as um, we just filled in a census form. This has to do with a fraudulent bank dispute. I have, this is a list I printed off from somebody I'm thinking about what to do with it. And an evergreen category for me right now is virtual organizing clients. I'm working with a lot of people virtually. I can work with you virtually too. And I am still old fashioned. I take pen to paper notes. So for each of my virtual organizing clients, I have their notes clipped in here. And it's nice when I hop on a call with them again, I can reach for them and see, you know, weeks worth of notes to get me caught up. And at the end of the day, I add a couple more things to the box when I'm cleaning up my to-do list, which for me is always pen to paper and my my notebook i allow myself one notebook that's beautiful on the outside messy on the inside where all of my notes that are not to do's land so the beautiful thing about the office in a box is at the end of the day i can just take everything that's gathered around my computer shove it in here and in a perfect world, it goes over on the credenza. I'm showing you a picture right now of what my desk um, typically looks like on a good day. It's not always as organized as what you're maybe looking at right now. But at least um, four days a week, I try to clean up at the end of the day. And what that means is the computer moves to the other side of the room, the office in a box, the lid goes on, that goes to the other side of the room, and my dining table can become a dining table again. It doesn't have to be an office 24 seven. Sometimes the box goes on the floor, sometimes it goes on the chair, but I just like knowing that it's here because during the day I can spread out and be messy, knowing that there's an end of the day where I can just shove it aside. And I wanna point something else out. This box 
measures one and a half deep, 12 by 18. I wouldn't go any smaller than this. Um, it's, it's not a perfect solution. You know, it's not beautiful. It doesn't say much. It's not really trendy. Um, it's not compact, but the alternative, which is having paper spread out all around the computer, um, just wasn't working for me. So these portfolio boxes were a little tricky to find. I'm linking to some down below. Um, I wasn't happy with any that I saw on Amazon. So mainly it's like art and photography sites where I found them. The reason I wouldn't go any smaller is because if you remember the way I have things put in here, pretty much everything in here is eight and a half by 11 size or smaller. So when I'm rummaging around, I like that thing, if it were smaller, everything would be hidden. And then you run into the problem like a letter tray where you can only see what's on top. So I like that because of the size, I can still like spread out and see everything I have. So there you have it. Um, this really was kind of done in a panic, in an emergency. And uh, what was I doing before my office in a box, working out of a dining table? I would create neat little stacks and I would put them on the the dining chairs, or I'd create a neat little stack and I'd put it over there where the, the box lands at night. And it was okay, but it's so nice just still being able to be messy and just contained, that I can just shove it all in here and forget about it until tomorrow morning. So again, it's I, I've seen everything out there on the market as far as products go for organizing paper and I recommend a lot of it and get creative with a lot of it. But I was just really excited to share with you something incredibly simple and something I personally use at home in my own home office. And in the last couple of months, this office in a box has saved me. So I really hope that helps. Um, if you have an idea for how you could use an office in a box or if by chance you're already doing something similar, please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you. Again, I'm Casey Patey of theinspiredoffice.com. I work locally here in DC, Maryland, in Virginia. I travel nationwide for clients. And of course, I offer virtual consultations as well for your digital life, your paper life, your office, and beyond. So please visit theinspiredoffice.com for more. Thanks. Mm -hmm.